Borneo is a very special part of the world. It's uh, not only our close neighbour in Australia, but it's only one of two places where you can find orangutans, which are one of the four great apes surviving in the world. Borneo has the majority of the orangutan population in the world. Current estimates are that there's 20,000 orangutans in uh, Indonesian Borneo, 5,000 left in Sumatra. But unless the destruction, which is currently being undertaken by illegal logging and stripping of the forests for palm oil production, unless that can be stopped, uh, orangutans face extinction in the wild within the next 10 years. There's maybe a third of the rainforest remaining in Indonesian Borneo, but it's coming out at such a rate that World Wildlife Fund thinks that there will be no habitat left in 10 years. Why have they got to that situation? Because they live in a very limited area, which is the rainforests of Borneo. And the rainforests grow these super valuable timbers, which have been logged out and sent all around the world to be used for furniture. But in Borneo, we quickly recognised that we really needed to shift the economy away from depending upon destroying orangutan habitat to supporting orangutan habitat. The one that we focused on is ecotourism. It's getting people up there to have a look at the orangutans because that graphically demonstrates to locals that people are prepared to pay money to see orangutans. I was born in Kumai, like the original Kumai. In my place, it's become the famous place because we have a national park here in orangutan. So that's a great opportunity if I get involved in tourism. We want lots of tourists come to Kalimantan because in Kalimantan we have a lots of little river and nice jungle and nice people also. By doing this job, I can meet some people coming from some other countries in the world, and also I can get some, you know, knowledge from them. When I was young, um, we are farmer, farming, yeah. We make a rust pill down there. My my father or my grandfather, they are a logger. I want to be the, the first generation who, who breaks the cycle by doing something else, that not destroying the, the forest. So th this is uh, what we call karmunting. They have fruits like berries. The orangutan like to eat. Ecotourism is different from nature-based tourism. It is tourism that is in nature, but it is tourism that aims to conserve nature, aims to educate the community, uh, both the community that is receiving the tourists as well as the tourists themselves, and aims to build the capacity of the local community to maintain that tourism as an alternative industry to logging, mining, other things that are normally found in pristine natural areas. And it's grown into an industry that is often exploited for marketing purposes. Um, companies will label themselves as ecotourism when in fact they're just tourism and they want to use that, they're nature-based tourism, and they want to use that as a spin to differentiate themselves. I think the future of the orangutans is quite bleak, but I presume that, that the desecration will continue until it gets to a kind of critical point and 
the Indonesian government will actually step in and say enough's enough.